this is an interactive touch screen. It's also height adjustable, so I can lower or raise the screen using those buttons. In some rooms, the screen can be manually lowered or raised. I can control the lectern PC from, from the screen, so I don't need to be by the lectern in order to present. So for example, uh, I, can, I can start my presentation. So I've got a PowerPoint loaded. I can start my presentation from here. I can go back from, from this, uh, by, by using those gestures. I can also annotate directly on the screen. So to do that, there are some tabs on either side. So if I select this, the last icon here, the round EZ, is the annotation tool. Here I have a choice of color. So if I want to use the black color, I'll just leave it on there and I can annotate uh, anywhere on, on the screen. To get rid of the annotation, I just need to touch that and that gets rid, rid of it. There are some gestures I can use. So for example, to zoom in on a picture, I can just do this. And for PowerPoint, I can get all the slides by doing like that. And I can choose a different slide. I can also use the touch facility if I have a, a laptop. So if I have a Windows laptop, I'll connect it using the HDMI input here. And this USB will, will allow me to control the laptop from, from the screen. This also works with Mac laptops. However, you need to install a software for it to work. Another feature of the screen uh, is the digital whiteboard. To access the whiteboard, it's again, I click on this tab, and it's the square EZ icon, and that switches to the whiteboard. So here I have a pen with, where I can choose different colors, can adjust the size of it. I, I can draw with, with, with my finger. This tool here, allows me to select part of what I wrote and I can move it around across. This is an undo and redo buttons. The plus icon here allows me to create a new page. I can, I can create as many pages as I want. So that, that's, that's the third page. And if I want to erase something, I can make my hands in, into a fist and do this. So if, and that brings up the eraser. I can also uh, use my palm. That gives me a bigger eraser. And if I want to erase everything, I can just select this and erase all. And that would clear everything on the screen. I can go back and forth between the different pages. To go back to the last display, I just need to click on the tab and select this and select lectern. So that would get me to what was chosen from the lectern, which was the computer. I can also switch back by choosing one of the input sources on the touch panel on the lectern. This is a dual display room. The main screen is the one on the right when looking at the, at, at the room. The left screen will replicate whatever has been displayed on, on the right screen. So if you're doing any annotation or if you're writing on the whiteboard, use the right, right screen to do so. Both screens are enabled with a touch facility, so you could use either screen to control the lectern, PC, or laptop. 